My name is Chantal. I am a junior aerodynamicist at Tor also, and I grew up in London. So I studied at the University of Southampton. I did an aeronautics degree and I actually came to work for Torosso as an intern, student intern. I then went back to Southampton to finish my masters and have joined as a graduate since. Uh, my name is Ashley Thode. I'm an aerodynamicist with Torosso and I'm a local boy from just on the road. So I, I studied at Cranfield University doing an MSc in aerodynamics before moving on to work in the CFD industry in London for one of the uh, big providers before going to work in Indy cars for three, just over three years, designing Indy cars before coming here last year. <laughs> oh, absolute nightmare, no. Uh, no, working together is good. No, we've got a, a good rapport in our, our group, Aero Group, and we feel like uh, we have worked together to improve ideas and help each other out when we're in sticky situations, so generally it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's quite fun. Um, we get along really well in our group. We discuss ideas, and generally me and Ashley are usually fighting over who gets their runs in CFD first. My job involves um, designing surfaces for the front corner of the car. So um, I design these surfaces based on new concepts or something that we already have on the car. You know, fundamentally, we're trying to make the car go faster and that's through aerodynamics and the geometry of the car that you see. But Chantal's best quality, she's very calm and depression, so any issues or any problems or just everything is under control, which is always a good sign, isn't it? I'd say the best quality about Ashley is he always has a lot of food on his desk, so <laughs> he's always willing to share. F1 is very male dominated, and um, I think we would really like to see both from my side and from everyone else in the office more women entering motorsport and Formula One. Um, my experience at Torosso has been very good. Um, everyone is very nice um, and I think very importantly I don't get treated differently because I'm a woman which I think is a great thing and I think that's very important. Vista Village is a two minute drive from here which is great. I spend a lot of my money and a lot of my time there which maybe isn't a good thing. Um, but I think the great thing about Vista is that it's very close to Oxford um, and London, so the pub public transport is great. A nice little town, which has all the amenities you need. It's recently got you know, a cinema, so it's actually starting to grow and have more facilities than it did before. I certainly remember when it was Vista Village with a town attached, not Vista has Vista Village. So it certainly changed a lot. And a lot more welcoming now, there's a lot more um, of an international presence and a lot more businesses growing here. Effectively, I think for a lot of the men, I don't know about the women, but you want to be a race driver, right? You want to, you want to drive the cars. And I guess when you grow up and you realise, oh, you know, not really realistic going to be able to do that. So what else can I do to enjoy this, you know, with the sport that I enjoy? And a lot of this, for a lot of us, it would probably be design the cars, which is the closest you can get to driving them. I think it would be something completely different. So maybe a dentist? <laughs> that would be interesting. I've tried talking about shopping during coffee breaks, but most of the men aren't interested. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, you know, it is very sport-orientated, obviously. Everyone likes a bit of competition, and, and I guess that's one thing. But it's important to talk to each other about their home lives and you know, see how everyone is and you know, generally get along because that's the most important thing for working as a team. I think also the weather is a big topic of but conversation. That's, that's, that's the English thing. Oh, especially for the Italians over here. They love to complain about the weather. <laughs> I do join them though. <laughs>